All right, everyone. I I figure I'd do a video. Unfortunately for me, this is the second time that I've had this extruder out in the last two prints. This is actually the high temperature extruder. I had the original extruder in, and I had a jam that I could not get unjammed without taking the extruder out, which is kind of a pain. It comes out fairly easy, but it's not the best <laughs> setup. So I decided to go ahead and put the high temperature extruder. I put the fan on it, and I tried to do one print in it and the extruder jammed. Now it might be because I'm used to Bowden style extruders and I'm using more retraction than I should be. I'm hoping that's what my problem is, but this is after one, one attempt at a print with a material that I'm really used to having good results from. So I, I thought I'd do a quick uh, tear down since I've done it once. Um, it's not too difficult. It's just kind of a pain. There's no real easy way to get jams undone while it's in the printer. So what I found is you have to remove uh, these two bolts will allow the fan shroud and everything and the board to come off. So I'll remove those first. Like I said, it's not real hard. It's just a pain that you know, with my Bowden extruders, it's fairly easy to unjam a clog, but and with this one, you just can't get anything done. So just be careful. Oh, this one has an extra plate on it. I guess I got to make sure that gets put back in there. The other one didn't have that. So you have some spacers you got to keep an eye on. You got two bolts. Oh, there goes my spacer. Put the bolts aside. There will be some resistance from the, the heavy gauge wires. Uh, there are two more bolts down in here. That releases the heat sink. And uh, we can get to some things here. So I'm going to take those bolts out. Get the second one. These are actually, I feel like they're Loctited, which I don't know because they're, they're under a lot of heat. I can't believe they'd use Loctite, but... So anyways, there's a heat sink here. See what's going on. Maybe this one's built a little different than the other one. We'll find out here. Oh, it's the reason why I'm struggling is the materials holding it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna push down on this and hopefully release the material. Maybe. Oh boy. Come out all together. There we go. So yeah, it's good and jammed in there. Not really sure how that occurred. Only thing I'm thinking is maybe uh, extraction value is too high. So now, I might have a hard time removing that, especially as that's cooled down. Let me see if I can get some tools here real quick. Okay. So yeah, that was good and jammed up in there. Uh, I'm just going to have to put it back together and heat it back up to try to get that push through. It's actually not a bad design. Uh, I'm thinking maybe of a hardened drive gear there. But the reason why I had a hard time getting it apart was because it was so jammed up. So basically this goes back on like this. I'm guessing. I'm gonna put the heat sink back on. But you have to get that over the shaft. Slide this on. Put the two bolts back down inside here. So then I need to put this back down. 
I think that's where that spacer was. This is going to go back on like this. I need to put, it's probably easier to put, uh, how was that? That's why you got to really pay attention before you take things apart. I think I got it here. It's easier to put the bolts and then the, the spacers back on. Try to get everything lined up together. This one has an extra spacer down there, which the other one didn't have. It's going to make it a little harder. And there goes my shoulder bolt. Or uh, spacer, sorry. I'm tired. Wow, this one's... This one's a real treat. Try to get everything lined up. Well, I guess I'll be better off. Those on. You're watching me do this for the first time. Sorry, I'm probably blocking the view. So you're better off putting the bolts through the fan, through the standoffs, through the first plate, and then through the spacer on the first plate, and then I guess try to line everything up. And you are fighting the tension from the, uh, the heavy gauge wire here. All right, it's taken, that's good. Do the other one. Snug them up, not over tighten, because they are going into plastic on the plastic fan. So that's it. That's the hard nozzle, high high temperature extruder. But I like I said, I added the fan because there's a spot for it right here, and I do plan on uh, just using this one with the fan when I need it. But there's also other, something else I found interesting, and maybe this will be a future update. But this empty plug here, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it says leveling. So hopefully there's some plans in the future for uh, an addition of bed, uh, additional bed leveling option would be really nice. Uh, yeah, that's it for the on uh, clogging a jam. Thanks, guys.